Today, I'm going to do something fun. Nitroglycerin, also known as trinitroglycerin, is an energetic oily liquid that has a very similar structure to TNT, TNP, and Tennessee. It has uses in dynamite and other explosive things due to its energetic properties, and it's also a heart medication. In this video, I'm going to explore the science behind how to safely synthesize small quantities of it, and as mentioned before, it's a heart medicine. So, if it gets on your skin, it can drop the blood pressure to your head so fast that it can actually cause you to pass out. And just because you can add it to someone's sunscreen, and just because it's funny to watch old people fall down, doesn't mean that you should do those things. I'm making this, making this video solely to teach people about the chemistry and nothing else. So let's get to the chemistry. What I'll need for this procedure is glycerin, potassium nitrate or saltpeter, and concentrated sulfuric acid, which can be found as drain cleaner. And the first step to making this nitroglycerin is to get a test tube and fill it with around 30 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid. This was actually too much, so I pulled out a bit, just like your dad should have when you were born. Now, I add a bit of hydrogen peroxide and stir the solution with a glass stir bar for a bit to make sure some of the reddish pink color gets out. This is honestly not really necessary, but I like to do it anyways. And the next step is to make an ice bath, and to do this, I put a test tube into the beaker and I fill the beaker with ice and water. Now, I place a thermometer into the sulfuric acid and add about 10 milligrams of potassium nitrate. This turns some of the sulfuric acid into nitric acid, and it's a very exothermic reaction, meaning it gets really hot, just like your mom. The reason that I make an ice bath is to make sure that all the sulfuric acid and nitric acid don't all boil, because usually hot sulfuric acid is bad news. After a bit of convincing, the potassium nitrate all dissolves and forms nitric acid, and at this point, I wait until the sol solution cools to zero degrees Celsius. Now, I slowly add in about 2 milliliters of glycerin, and this process is extremely exothermic. So, when working with a high explosive that's very sensitive like this, it can be pretty bad news if you know what I'm going, where I'm going. If the solution raises to above 40 degrees Celsius, you usually have two options. Run faster than a sheltered teenager raised in a conservative Christian family who accidentally found himself in a pride rally, or put on your blast protection forearmor and pray. After about 10 minutes of stirring the solution like keep inventory was on, I added the solution to an ice water bath and I precipitated out the nitroglycerin. This can be extracted from the beaker with a syringe, and I added it to some paper that I hit with a hammer. Honestly, in my opinion, it's not that bad. By no means should you mess around with this stuff, or is it safe, but with proper safety precautions, without further ado, Thanks for watching.